So I spent a thousand dollars on my album artwork for my new album, Mercy. Bruh. Coming out 10th of July. I wanted to go for something that had like anime design. So it was a bit of a process in order to get what I wanted. And in my artwork, there's a reference to five different anime series, which I walk through with you. So this is the artwork. <laughs> what I spent a thousand dollars on. <laughs> so my album is designed to be a soundtrack to the Mercy manga. This is what it's officially gonna look like on every CD and as the thumbnail in Spotify. So each song in this album is a soundtrack to another chapter. First chapter is Survive, second chapter Rivalry, third chapter Problematic Android Girl, fourth chapter King's Dead, fifth chapter Sun's Rising. I'm gonna be releasing them one at a time, starting on Sunday. A new chapter with a new cover with some more artwork for each separate song. So make sure you follow my Instagram for all the information on that. Let's walk through how I spent a thousand dollars getting this. So our story starts out, as any good story does, on a Google Doc. In order for the artist to understand what I wanted, I needed to give him a bit of a walkthrough. Here you can see everything that I've referenced here in the album art. The original model is based off the Dragon Ball Z Girl Android 16. And Android 18. As you can wait, what is that? Uh, okay, I don't want to scroll down too far with this. But you get the point. Android. <laughs> oh my. God. Android 18. There's fan art of her. <laughs> Uh, the idea with Android 18 is that she was given life spoilers for Dragon Ball Z fans, people who haven't seen it, 20, 20, 30 year old show. She was an android designed to kill and basically found love and eventually became human. That's a long story short. Yeah, I like the design. I always remember her as a kid, you know, watching it and, and it's always stuck with me, that story. For the gun, we see we have here this gun here, which is a gun from the manga Blam. This gun is called the Gravitational Emitter Beam. The whole manga is really really worth a read to be honest it's a bit old basically about a man's journey through a dystopian future where robots were basically meant to build a city but they start controlling themselves and they just keep building and building and never stopping and this gun here is central to the whole thing of how our character goes from building to building i don't want to spoil it too much if you ever want to read it definitely recommend it however the more i talk about it the more it's going to spoil everything for you it kind of just unfolds as you go but really Really, really great manga. They did an anime adaptation which you can look up which is alright. I also think the reason I love it so much is the person who wrote it. He wasn't the best writer in the world. He actually had very severe limitations to writing in imagination but he had this world in his head which he was putting to paper. So it was sort of like you were doing the work to figure out what the world is and what's going on as everything started to unfurl. So it's a really great manga. In really interesting read from the 90s. So that was where the gun came from here this pose obviously i looked up a few poses this is jinx from hit series arcane based on hit series league of legends i like a lot of gamers have played a bit of league of legends i actually have videos on it yeah it's kind of like admitting that you've done crack at one point it's a very addictive game that gets you zero places in life <laughs> Unless you're low, Tyler won. Very enjoyable TV series, very interesting game, so I added that element in there. I had the cross, which you can see in the background. Now this cross, this cross is from Trigun, which is basically a anime from the 90s. It's about guns, it's about frontier town, so it's a bit of a cowboy show, but the futuristic guns. So the character Wolfwood in this series, Trigun, walks around with a cross on his back the whole time, and then at one episode, he reveals it and it turns out the cross was a gun the whole time. <laughs> Incredible dude. Incredible anime, very worth watching, a very cool gun. Uh, unfortunately it stopped running but really worth a watch. One of my favourite animes of all time. There you can see the general idea of the cover and the people. Getting that cross actually caused a bit of drama, I'll talk about that in a sec though. The last was the head covering which was based on a character in Near Ultima which is a series about cyborgs in the future. I just like the design. I I only played a small portion of the game and on top of that I have my own handwriting so in every single one of my albums that I've made I have a blonde girl with her eyes covered and I have my handwriting as well so the reason I have it with my name in my own handwriting now that's because I want it to be a piece of me and I want it to have my handwriting because I'm giving you a piece of me and something that I've done personally rather than just a nice cool looking theme I want it to be come from the heart I gave all of this information a bit of a type up and sent it through to people on webs the most reliable website of all time Fiverr <laughs> 
You can get so much people to do so much stuff on Fiverr and sometimes you get a quality. <laughs> As I said, there was a bit of drama. I contacted about four or five people, gave them a bit of a type up of what's going on. This person here was actually my number one choice. This was Ironman Swirly, or however you say his name. He had a really reasonable price. Covers were pretty good, pretty decent work for what he's offering. However, I sent through the Google Doc of the outline of everything I wanted, and he says, I won't be able to help you with this project due to it containing religious related materials. See, the thing is, I respect the man, you know, you pick who you want to work with, all of that. Thing is, a cross being a gun, I really don't see that. I don't think a cross that that is a gun is really that much of a religious statement at all. Personally, I have very Christian extended family and they don't like the idea of me having a cross that's a gun. They don't see it as religious at all. I talked to a few people, this person said they'd get back to me, never did, but I managed to get a hold of this man, Theodore. Very great guy, very talented, does a lot of good work. I liked his 90s style, as you can see. I, I find the modern style with manga, it looks a little, it looks nice, but I find the style can be a bit too good, a bit too clean looking, whereas in the 90s it had this nice stylistic appearance to it, and so I chose him, and things went good. I sent everything off to him, and he sent through an image of his original sketch. Now obviously there's been a bit of an upgrade since then, so I had to give him a little bit of feedback on what we were wanting, including text layout. We had to go through a whole process to get my own handwriting on there, and I also sent him this image here from Attack on Titan, another anime, to get a more dramatic looking background. I had to get the cross actually like more strapped to her back than it was here. We managed to make it all work. He sent me through my final copy and couldn't be happier. Now the reason why it costs so much was also because, as I mentioned before, I got a bunch of music coming out and each one with an original. I won't show you the rest of the designs yet, so follow my Instagram for more information on that as the manga develops. But yeah, I think, what do you reckon? Do you, was it worth it? <laughs> Man, leave a comment, let me know. <laughs> let me know your thoughts, I'd love to hear it. It's for you guys, that's why I'm spending the money. This was fun. Bye.